Amazing meatball cupcakes. The last time I had these, they were done a bit differently. I tried doing a layer of cream cheese instead. I love it like this. The cream cheese layer could have been more thin though. I added green pepper and onions, which combined with everything was just perfect. I used to cans of store-bought pizza dough. I enrolled it and did my best to stretch it and making it a little more thin and flat. I cut this one into 16 squares. They were not as even as I would have liked, but you can stretch them or just make some smaller with less crust. I used my silicone cupcake liners. You can just grease your actual pan as well. My pan is about ready to be replaced, so I chose to use liners. I just pushed the dough to the bottom and tried to pull the sides of the dough to the edge and top of the liner of the pan. Next, I cut half of a block of cream cheese into cubes. I went with a bit less with the next pan I did. The cream cheese cuts more easily when it's cold. I put shredded mozzarella at the bottom, then cream cheese on top of that. We had meatballs the night before that I made myself, and I cut them in half because of the size. You can use store-bought meatballs too. After I layered in the meatballs, I added more mozzarella and a little cheddar cheese. I then topped some of them with diced bell peppers and onions. Then I added some dried parsley. My oven temperature was set to 350. I also wanted to try some with paper liners because certain things will remove easily from them. But this dough did not. These baked between 18 to 20 minutes. We only had a little sauce left, but we dipped a few in that as well. I could not get over how much I love these. You could also add other toppings or put some sauce inside. If you put sauce inside, it's usually recommended to not put directly onto the crust to avoid it seeping through holes or the crust could get soggy as well. Here's how the paper liners did. With this dough, only one was decent, but it still tore up a bunch. I'm going to open a few of these so you can get an idea of how they look inside. And so you can adjust the cream cheese layer if you want. You could also mix the cream cheese with the shredded cheeses as well. I believe the ones I had before were made with a crescent roll crust. You could saute the peppers and onions first if you prefer them like that. I also did some with this craft garlic and herb, white cheddar cheese. Just be prepared to one a million of them. Let me know if you made these. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe you guys.